pay it forward. How about that? Pay it forward. I was fortunate enough, Biggest Loser Season 10's theme was pay it forward. For me, I took that to heart and I did everything I possibly could to live that theme. And I was fortunate enough to win The Biggest Loser. And it has totally changed my life. But I tell you what, I'm going to go back in time and I want to share with you a little bit about myself growing up and how if there was a program like Mindstream Academy around when I was a kid, I might not have had to have depended on a TV show to intervene in my life to change my life and save my life. Growing up with a last name like House and being overweight, you can imagine how that worked out for me day in and day out. <laughs> life for me growing up as a kid, it was fun. I had a lot of great times. And I remember growing up, I never considered myself to be obese. I was always out riding my bike. I was always playing baseball, football, basketball, soccer, swimming. I was always being active. And in my mind, I never considered myself to be obese. But I couldn't help but notice in photographs with friends, I was always the bigger kid. The names I was called at school, people picking on me about my size. I knew I was different. And I knew I wanted to be normal, but I didn't know how to get there. Just like Mindstream says, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be one of those kids in the in crowd, but I didn't know how to get there or what to do. For me, sports was the way I turned all that adversity into something fantastic. I realized, hey, I'm a bigger guy. They need bigger guys on the football team. I'll go play football. This will be great. I focused all my attention on, on football accepted a football scholarship in college, and that led me down the road of ultimately putting the weight on that sent me to The Biggest Loser. But I look back at the pay it forward theme. Pay it forward. After all that time I spent on the ranch, doing all the daily activities of working out, filming interviews, interacting with the other cast and crew, and doing everything I possibly could to stay above that line and to stay active, I look back day to day on some of the things I did. On the show, I was eating 800 calories a day. Think about 800 calories a day. That's like a 20 ounce Coke and a king size Snicker bar. Every day, that's what I was eating. I was working out six, eight, 10 hours a day, all the while trying to burn the calories I could to get down to a healthy weight, to be a healthier person. For me, when I came home from the show, I had my first opportunity to pay it forward. I had just been back at home in Vicksburg for a couple of weeks. I got an email from a mom. This mother said, my son is close to 300 pounds. He's being picked on and bullied at school. You're from Mississippi. We live in your hometown. I think God has led me to you that we can change his life. You can be the person that can light a fire under him and motivate him. I met with that family about a week later, introduced myself to their son, and I left that day knowing I was going to do something to change that young man's life. I didn't know what it was yet, but I was going to do something to work with him. A few weeks later, I had my first brush with Mindstream. I was told about the facilities, equine therapy, how everything works, and I knew right then it clicked in my mind, this is what that young man needs. He needs this program. One of the best stories that I have to tell when I go around is how that young man came to Mindstream, took the virtues and values that we teach, and now has lost 100 pounds and has changed his life. Just like I've done. I go around now all over sharing my message of childhood obesity, the issues. We've all seen the stats all day today. We've seen the statistics. We know the dangers. It's there. The problems there day to day that we have to face. I've made it my goal to be the face of obesity. That's a face that nobody really wants to be. Nobody wants to be the face of obesity. But from where I've come from and what I've done, I want to be that person. I want to be the face of obesity that I can go around and see people and say, you know what? You can do it. You can change your life. Calories in, calories out. One foot in front of the other. Day in, day out, you can change your life. It's all about accepting, accepting yourself, changing your mentality, and focusing on your goals. 
and knowing that you yourself are worth it. You're worth it to change. You're worth it to live the healthier lifestyle. And you're worth it to make all those changes in your life. People ask me all the time about my favorite moment on the show. No doubt in my mind, my favorite moment on The Biggest Loser came in week nine when we had a challenge in downtown Los Angeles and the winner would get a brand new car. I needed a car. I needed a brand new car. My motivation to win in that car was sitting back home in my driveway in the form of a 1992 Plymouth Acclaim. <laughs> I needed that new car. But the one thing that I realized when I saw what the challenge was, was I had zero chance to win. You see, our challenge that day was to run up and down the steepest steps in America 20 times. 500 steps up, 500 steps down, 20 times. First person back down to hit that button wins the car. Well, there was a girl in my season who was a runner. Week five on The Biggest Loser, she was running eight miles a day. Week five for me on The Biggest Loser, I had just completed running my first mile without stopping. To say that she was a better runner than me is the understatement of the decade. But she too was living the pay it forward theme and changing lives. The last lap, as she came up, I was going down on my next to last lap, and I realized she's heading to the top to go win this car. I turned around and started my last trip up those steps, defeated, knowing that any minute she was gonna rush down past me to come claim the car that I wanted. But you know what happened that night? She decided to pay it forward and decided to help. I kept waiting for her to come, and she never did. As I ascended those steps, I rounded the last corner, and there sitting at the top was that girl. I got to the top, she stood up, she gave me a hug, and she told me, you deserve this. You need this. Together, her and I, and the guy that was in second, the three of us descended down those steps, arm in arm. We walked to the podium, I hit the button, and they let me win the car. For me, that moment is ingrained in my mind forever. The pay it forward theme, and I'm now living the pay it forward theme, and I'm doing this by trying to help kids all over the country. Like I said before, the statistics are there. In my home state of Mississippi, 45% of the kids in Mississippi are classified as obese or overweight, 45%. It's an amazing statistic, and it's one that has to be changed. Another statistic that really blows my mind, currently, if things do not change in this generation, parents will outlive the kids. Think about that for a minute. The kids of our generation, the way they've been brought up, the habits that they've formed, if they don't change them, the parents could outlive the children. These are staggering facts that have to be changed. I'm doing what I can with these kids. I love speaking to kids. I love sharing the message of you can do it, you can pay it forward, you can change your life. I can't help but wonder if there had been a program like Mindstream. Like I said, if there was a Mindstream when I was a young kid, could I have caught it early enough to change my life then and not had to depend on me to get into my adulthood to make the changes? People all across America are realizing and seeing now the obesity epidemic we have in our country. The, where, the place to start the changes are at the kid level, the kids in the schools all around the country to make a difference and realize this is how we change our future. We learn to eat healthier. We learn to exercise more efficiently. And most importantly, we have fun when we exercise. Going back to my stats on the show, 800 calories a day, six, eight, ten hours of exercise a day. I can't help but correlate that to Mindstream. You see that, that boy, that young man from my hometown that I told you about, in his own weight loss journey, his statistics were almost mirror image of mine. They were within a few percentage points of my weight loss on The Biggest Loser while I was eating 800 calories and doing all the crazy workouts and exercise with Jillian Michaels on my back yelling at me from across the gym, all the craziness. He was at Mindstream, 
eating 2,000 calories and working out moderation, moderately. Nothing wild, nothing crazy. Yet, his stats were close to mine. That goes to tell you that you don't have to have crazy caloric intakes. You don't have to have outrageous gym exercises for many, many hours a day. Lots of mental change and changing your attitude and your behaviors towards food and getting that exercise and devoting yourself to a program is what it takes. That young man did it. I've done it. And I enjoy going all over the country and sharing that and helping people everywhere. I'm going to close with one of my favorite quotes. It's an ancient Chinese proverb. Whether your journey is one mile or your journey is a thousand miles, it starts with the same thing, and that's the first step. I challenge people all over the country to join me, take that first step, learn to live a healthier lifestyle, and you too can be successful not only in weight loss, but anything you set your mind to. Youth in America, understand they can change their life and they too can be successful. Thank you all.